Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Yummy Brown of Yummy Carousology and today's tutorial is the cutest and the warmest high knee sock that we can wear this holiday. So this video is sponsored by Hobby. They are too kind to send me all the things that we will be needing for this tutorial. So if you are interested in the materials, please head to my description box below and it will take you to the website of Hobby hobby and from there you can you can definitely use as many colors as you needed but for this tutorial we need three colors so head to my description box below and grab that beautiful woolly yarn that you need for this tutorial also don't forget to check on the bingo game that's going on once a week in hobby app on your phone so if you like my content that talks about crochet and styling our crochet pieces, please smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. So let's head to the video. So these are the yarn that I picked when collaborating with Hobby. I have here the Honey Bunny Hobby yarn and this one is a super bulky yarn in the color Green Hunter. And they also sent me the cutest Christmas stitch markers. How cute is that? Oh, I'm obsessed with this one. So again, if you want to have your own Christmas hobby stitch markers, just head to my description. And these are the information at the and it is 100% polyester. It is 100 gram or 120 meter. And again, the size of this yarn is super bulky or category six. Okay, it's very squishy. Next one is we have the new range of yarn that Hobby introduces lately. These are the Friends range. These are the wool ones. There's also a cotton. And I have here the wool ones in the color um, red and maroon. So to be specific, it's actually 49 and 42 color lot um, in the website. So again, it will be linked in the description box below. So this is the Friends wool, the 100% wool, and it is medium or category four kind of yarn. And it is 50 gram or 100 meter per skein. And we need at least three of each color for each socks okay so well i have a very long socks so i make it very long but it's up to you how long you want your socks and i also have here the friends mohair but i didn't end up using it in this video but i will be making a different tutorial for the mohair again you can check this yarn in the description box below let's start with the tutorial so i have here the friends wool or the wool one and now we will start with three millimeter hook and a magic circle. So this is how I make a magic circle. And you can also start this project with a chain of four and a slip stitch. And then into that hole that you created with your magic circle, you have to make 10 half double crochet into your circle. So I'm here at the end and we will slip stitch into the very first stitch or half double crochet to complete the row. Okay, and then pull the tail of your magic circle to close the gap in the middle. Now next row is chain of one and then in every stitches you have to put two half double crochet in every stitches. So basically saying this is your increase row. Okay, so two half double crochet in every stitches or increase. So you have to repeat your increase around until you reach at the end. So I have here my last increase and then we will slip stitch to the chain one at the beginning. Okay. Now you have to place a stitch marker to your first stitch of this next row. Again, if you're interested in the Christmas stitch marker, it will be available in the hobby website. Just visit the link in the description box. Chain one and then in the next three stitches, you have to put one half double crochet 
in each of the three stitches. So there's your first three and then on the stitch after your three third half double crochet you have to increase. Increase here is two half double crochets in the same stitch. So that's how our pattern goes. Three half double crochets in each three stitches and then increase. Repeat the pattern around until you reach at the end. So I have here my last stitch and it will be the increase one. So increase here is two half double crochets in the same stitch. Now you have to slip stitch to your chain one to close the row. If you want to size up your socks, just size up your hook. So I'm using here three. So I guess you can use 3.50 if you want it a little bit bigger. Again, place your stitch marker into your first stitch. And then in every stitches around, you have to place one half double crochet around. Okay, so this time no more increase, just one half double crochet. So I'm here at the end of my row and this is my last half double crochet and then we will slip stitch to end this row, okay? In total, I have 25 half double crochets and then this will be our first row of half double crochet without increase. So place a stitch marker in that row to remind you that that's the first row of your half double crochet without the increase. Because on the next five rows, it will be half double crochet without increase. So we're starting the second row of half double crochet without the increase. So again, chain one and half double crochet in every stitches around, okay, until you reach here where you started and then you need six rows total, okay? So this stitch marker here indicates that this is your first row of half double crochet without the increase and you need six okay so i have here my last stitches for my sixth row of half double crochet without the increase i will finish it off with half double crochet and then a slip stitch to our chain one okay but before you will pull that yarn we have to change color you will pull the the new color to end this stitch Okay, which is the slip stitch. That's how we will change a color. And then drop the previous color and start your stitches with a new color, in this case, the red one. Chain one and again, make half double crochet in each stitches. Okay, so in total, this would be seventh row of half double crochet without the increase. I just decided to change color to give drama to my socks, but this is totally optional. I am here at the end of my seventh row. And again, we will slip stitch into our chain one, but we will change color before we will finish the stitch. Okay, the same way when we started the red one. This time we will start our pattern of chain four, double crochet in the same stitch where you're chain four and that is your first v stitch now skip one stitch and on the stitch after that you have to make a v stitch so v stitch is double crochet chain one and double crochet in the same stitch so now you have two v's done so again skip one stitch and make a v stitch in the next which is double crochet chain one and double crochet again in the same stitch you have to continue your V stitches around until you reach at the end. Now I am here at the end and I have one stitch to skip and then make a V here. And then ending this row with a slip stitch to my chain four. So there you go, we started the V-stitch now, that this will be the base pattern for our socks. Continue with the, the maroon color and make a chain of four. On the stitch 
below you, you have to make a front post double crochet. So this is the second post of the V from the previous round. Okay. So your chain four here is considered as a double crochet or a stitch. On the next V, the top of that make a double crochet. Okay. So the first post of your V will be a double crochet. The second post of your V will be the front post double crochet. Okay. So that's how our pattern will go. Double crochet and front post double crochet into the post just below you. Now continue that until you reach here. I have here one V stitch left and again on top of this first post will be double crochet and then the second post will be a front post double crochet. And then we will end this row with a slip stitch. But before we will end the slip stitch, again, we will change color into our red color. I didn't cut my yarns at the back, so it's easier for me to continue the changing of colors. So we chain four to start up our next row and then double crochet on top of the double crochet from the previous round. And then in this post, this is your front post double crochet from the previous round. You have to put a front post double crochet into that post. Okay. And then the next stitch will be a double double crochet on top of that double crochet. So you have to repeat that pattern, copy the previous round around until you reach here. So we are here at the end and we are ending this with a front post double crochet since this is the front post double crochet, the last stitch and then slip stitch to the chain four and put a stitch marker into this row to indicate that this is your first front post double crochet and double crochet row because we need to keep counting of our rows. Okay, so we need 10 rows of this front post double crochet and double crochet row. Okay, and keep in mind how you change your colors. In my case, I change my color every two rows and we have 10 rows of front post double crochet, double crochet row. I'm here in the 10th row of my front post double crochet, double crochet row and it is ending with a front post double crochet and then a slip stitch to the chain four at the beginning of the round. So from here where we begin with our stitch marker, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 rows. Okay, so as you've noticed, I have two rows in each color, but it's up to you how you will play around your colors. This is for sizes five to eight, and you, if you are making it for sizes nine to 10, please add more two rows before we will proceed to the heel or the ankle part. So we only have to half double crochet half of this part to create the base or foundation of your ankle or your heel. So chain two, then half double crochet into the next 15 stitches, okay? So we only use the 15 stitches of this part. So I have here my last stitch or the 15th stitch. Okay, so these will serve as my foundation for the heel. And then chain of one, two, and turn your work. Again, you have to make another rows of half double crochet to create the heel. Okay, so this is the first row of the heel. So we will add more rows to make it into 10. Okay. Again, if you're making it into size bigger than seven and above, just add more row, a row or two will do. So I have here the end of my second row for the heel. Again, we're just using a half double crochet stitch to keep it growing. We can cut off the second color for a bit. We can attach it later. Now, 
You have to repeat your rows of half double crochet to make a heel and then we just have to keep this heel part growing to accommodate your heel. Again, I only have 10 rows of this. You can add more rows for bigger size. So I have here all my 10 rows of half double crochet to make a heel for my socks. So as you can see, it's just half double crochet back and forth. And we will finish it off the last few stitches. So I will have to half double crochet all the way to the end. Do not cut off your yarn since we will connect these ends. So as you can see, if you fold your, your socks like this, we will be stitching this closed and pretty much it's looking like a socks right now <laughs> okay so it's pretty stretchable my yarn if you're using a different yarn please make sure that you are adding enough rows to accommodate your feet now flip your yarn uh, flip your heel rows like so so we can single crochet or shut this part here okay so we have to close this gap in order for us to make a heel so we'll just single crochet across these stitches here just make sure all your stitches is aligned and insert your hook there and make a single crochet in every stitches across okay so the point of this row is to shut the heel of your socks So I'm here at the end and pretty much that's how we will shut this row here and flip it back so you're facing the right side and it should look like this. Now we will attach the yarn in the side of your socks. You can actually start whatever you want to start but in my case I'm actually starting in the inner thigh or inner side of my socks okay and then again we will go back to our pattern chain of three and then since this is a front post double crochet we will just copy that one again we are just copying the previous rows stitches okay so front post double crochet since this is the front front post double crochet double crochet here so this is the gap where we end our rows from the previous round and then again front post double crochet if it's a front post double crochet from the previous round double crochet on top of the double crochet if it's a double crochet from the previous round and so on so you will just copy what's going on in your previous row okay until you reach in the other side of your sock where your heel part started or ended so my front of the socks is finished I just copied the previous stitches now we're going to the heel part this time we will make the V stitches to make into a foundation for our front post double crochet double crochet chain one double crochet skip a stitch and then in the next you have to make the V stitch which is double crochet a chain one and double crochet so again we're making a foundation here to put your next row skip a stitch and then make a V stitch which is double crochet chain one and double crochet okay so continue this pattern at the back or the heel part of your socks So we are here at the end and again I just skip one stitch and on the next you have to make a v-stitch which is a double crochet, a chain one and a double crochet. And then you have to slip stitch to your chain three at the beginning of this row. Now change color if you're changing color. Again chain of three and copy the stitches from the previous round since we're working in the front. So this is front post double crochet, double crochet front post double crochet double crochet front post double crochet and keep repeating this until you reach into the first V stitch okay so this is the front 
and now I am in my heel part or the V stitches. Again, the same pattern. I ended here with a front post double crochet. So I have to double crochet on top of my double crochet from the previous round. And on this post, I have to put my front post double crochet. Okay, basically saying what we did here. Again, double crochet on top of the double crochet. Front post double crochet on this post. Double crochet in this double crochet. And again, another front post double crochet in this post. You have to repeat that around the back portion or back part of your socks. Because we're at the back. Once you're in the heel side, this is your back. Now I'm here at the end and I'm ending this with a front post double crochet and a slip stitch to chain three. So don't forget to place the stitch markers to mark that this is your first row for the, so the upper part of the socks. And you need to have six rows of this before we will decrease. Okay, again, repeat the pattern of chain three. And as always, copy the previous rows stitches. So this is a front post double crochet since this is a front post here. Okay. Double, double crochet and front post double crochet until you finish the front all the way to the back. Just copy the stitches from the previous round and repeat this row two until you have six rows in total. I'm here at the end of my sixth row for the ankle, okay? Again, I just copied the previous row's stitches and in total, I have six rows, two rows each color. I change colors every two rows. And this time, we have to decrease for the next row to make this part here a little bit tight, okay? Chain three. Front post double crochet into the front post double crochet. Double crochet on top of the double crochet. F front post double crochet again into the front post double crochet from the previous round. And double crochet. We are basically copying the stitches from the previous round until you reach here. Align to your rows of the heel. Okay, this part here. So meaning we're dividing the front and the back of your socks, okay? Now I'm here in the last stitch going to the back side of the socks. This is the time or this is the part where we will decrease. Decreasing is like this. So double crochet together, one set. When you say one set, that's a front post double crochet and double crochet sitting to next to each other, okay? That's one set. Now we will shut them off or make them into one stitch, okay? So as you can see, I double crochet together the front post double crochet and a double crochet, make it into one stitch, okay? That's how I will decrease. Now in the next two sets, copy the stitches. So front post double crochet, double crochet, that's one set, okay? Okay, so that's how we will decrease. So two, two sets of front post, double crochet, double crochet, then decrease. So you have to do that around the back area of your socks only. Okay, so we decrease at the back only. We don't decrease in the front. Again, double crochet, then decrease. Okay, until you reach where you started. So I'm here at the end, which is one set left. So I will front post double crochet this post here. 
and then double crochet so that should be one set and there's leftover front post double crochet so we will just copy it and then slip stitch to chain three at the beginning of your row okay so that's how we decrease this area this is the ankle and it should be a little bit tight if you have very thin leg, I think you have to repeat the decrease before you will proceed to the normal stitches of the next few rows. Okay, so again, we only decrease at the back. As you can see, this is the stitch marker that divides the front and the back. So only from here all the way here. So that's the decrease. Okay, so we only decrease at the back of your socks. So this time we will start the row of non increase. So chain three and then again copy the stitches from the previous round. So front post double crochet, double crochet, front post double crochet, and then double crochet. So at the moment, again, we're always starting at the front part of your socks. So just copy these stitches from the previous round until you reach at the back where we decrease. So we reach at the back where we have our stitch markers here and this is the double crochet together that we did from the previous round. If you see that stitch, you have to put a front post double crochet around it. And it sits next to a front post double crochet. So make a front post double crochet into your front post double crochet. So there's two front post double crochet now sitting next to each other. Then double crochet and front post double crochet. Again, there's another double crochet together. So you have to insert your hook around that stitch like so. Okay. And then you have to make a front post double crochet. So basically saying the decrease we made from the previous round should be a front post double crochet. And when your socks is growing, as you put more rows, there should be two front post double crochet sitting next to each other. Okay, so continue your pattern or copy the previous round until you reach at the very beginning of this row. So I have here my last double crochet together so again i have to make a front post double crochet around it front post double crochet and then double crochet okay and then another front post double crochet here for the last stitch and then slip stitch to your chain three but before you end the slip stitch you have to change color if you're changing color again start the row with so chain three and copy the previous rows stitches so front post double crochet double crochet front post double crochet and double crochet so from here where our leg part started we need 44 rows for my size and i'm quite small so you can add more rows until it reaches just below your knee Okay, and this one is the decreased stitch markers and I decided I will keep it and you can also do the same. And as you can see, there is this double crochet together and then it becomes a front post double crochet sitting next to a front post double crochet. So you should have two front post double crochet sitting next to each other as your socks is growing. Okay, so you have to repeat the row of front post double crochet and double crochet or copying the exact same stitch of the previous round until you have rows and rows of this stitch and long enough to reach just below your knee. I have here all my 44 rows and from here where our stitch markers, we started the um, ankle part all the way up here, I have 44 rows or that is 12 and a half inches long. Again, if you need longer than this, you may add more rows before we will increase row and then we will end this row of non decrease row with a front post double crochet and slip stitch to our chain three okay so this is the last row of just purely stitches no increase no decrease now change color and this time i decided to change hook from three 
to 4 millimeter hook okay the same pattern start with a chain of three and then if you're working all the way to the front you have to copy each stitches from the previous round so in this case front post double crochet and double crochet next stitch so the same pattern until we reach into the second half or the part where it is for the back part of your socks so when when you reach in that part that's the time we will decrease i mean we will increase as you can see we are at the back now because you can see these two front post double crochet sitting next to each other so make a front post double crochet into that post between these two front post double crochet which is the decrease from our previous rows you have to put a double crochet in this stitch okay this is our way of increasing this row and front post double crochet around the front post double crochet as you can see there's already a double crochet between the two front post double crochet that serves as a decrease from rows and rows before and copy the double crochet which is a double crochet from previous round and front post double crochet here since this is a regular front post double crochet and another double crochet here and as you can see this is the two front post double crochet which serves as the decrease from our previous rows so you have to copy the front post double crochet and then put a double crochet between this two front post double crochet and again another front post double crochet into the front post double crochet from the previous round again your double crochet will serve as an increase repeat that around the back portion of your socks front post double crochet and then slip stitch to the chain three so that's how we will increase our row there is a double crochet sitting now between the two front post double crochets at the back of your socks this time we will continue our regular stitches or regular rows a chain four again and then front post double crochet on top of the front post double crochet double crochet on top of the double crochet and front post double crochet in top of the front post double crochet from the previous round okay so as you can see here this is the second row right after we increase and make sure you include that double crochet between the two front post double crochet so we're basically back to the regular stitches which is front post double crochet and double crochet since we add a double crochet here as a way of increasing in this previous row okay so again it is it will be easy this second row for the right after the increase because you will just have to copy the row i have here my last stitch for this row and again i have here the front post double crochet so i will front post double crochet on top of that and then end this row with a slip stitch to our chain four change color if you are changing a color now all you have to do is copy or repeat the row two of the increase part okay this is right after the increase row we're back into the regular stitches which is supposedly the row two right after the increase and you have to repeat that row of regular stitches until you have 20 to 22 rows and that is just right below my knee if you are taller you have to add more rows in total it has 20 rows this is what our socks looks like right now so i have here my first row of the borders at the top so we will chain one and then half double crochet in every stitches around so this time no need to increase nor decrease but we will use a half double crochet in every stitches around the socks so i have here the last stitch or the last half of the half double crochet and then slip stitch to your chain one you may cut this row if you are using a different 
color for your borders. So I have here the Honey Bunny from Hobby. Again, it is a super bulky yarn and very squishy and you can avail this yarn in the link and it will take you to the Hobby website. You can also use a code that is given to Hobby and it will only be used until 7th of December this year. So now attach your yarn to where you will start. But in this first row, we will only use front loop of your stitches. So if you look at your stitches this way, it is a V shape. And then this front here is your front loop. And we will only use the front loop. Is attaching your yarn for the very first time, you have to use the entire loop or both loop. Secure the yarn. Then chain one and make a single crochet, front loop only. Again, insert your hook into the next loop. Again, we're still using the only front loop and we will not touch the ones at the back. Pull a yarn and make a single crochet. Insert your hook into the next front loop and make a single crochet. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm only using the front loop. And now you have to repeat that pattern of single crochet front loop only around your um, socks. And we will end this row with a slip stitch to our chain. Now chain two again, and this time we will turn our work. Okay, so our work, we will be facing the wrong side and we will make a double crochet in every stitches. Okay, so this time you will lose all the loops and at the same time you are turning your work. So double crochet in every stitches around your socks until you reach at the um, end of this row. I have here my last stitch for this row of double crochet and then we will slip stitch this to close the row and that is the second row for the borders on top of the socks and then you have to repeat your double crochet row until you have four rows total i have here my last row and i will just cut this yarn off and i'm done so this is pretty much what our socks looks like and you can design and style however you want. I end up adding a ribbon here at the top. You can also do that if you feel like. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for staying with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and definitely be warm and cozy this Christmas season. So if you end up making one for yourselves or a gift to someone special, please don't hesitate to tag me in my social media. You can definitely find me here and also use this special code if you have something that you fancy in my Etsy shop. So thank you so much and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Goodbye!